now the topic before us is mncs in india an overview the indian economy is going through a transition phase where the restructuring of industries and firms is taking place in the form of privatization globalization and liberalization mncs are playing a good role in economic industrial and technological development of india the mncs are the harsh realities of our times companies across the globe find india hard to ignore due to its vast population and huge market potential it means that the mncs cannot afford the market which the india has because its population is very large so it provides a big opportunity for the mncs to set up their operations factories or provide services to a country like india which can earn huge resource huge reserves for the mncs tata aditya birla group infosys wipro and hcl are some of the examples of mncs which have their headquarter in india because these are indian multinational companies on the other hand nestle microsoft apple amazon and google the companies which have their headquarter or which belong to some other country they have their headquarter in some other country and they are the foreign companies and have their operations in india as well while many indian companies such as tatas the birlas allocate funds for charitable works like hospitals temples scholarships for higher studies not many mncs do so most multinationals in india deal in non essential products such as soaps shampoos lotions and other consumer products hardly any multinational company is getting involved in developing activities such as infrastructure that is roads ports power plants etc few big names like swiss building materials firm holsim us automaker ford uk banking major royal bank of scotland and us banking branch city bank have chosen to wind up their operations in india decrease their presence in india in recent times the reasons for them to reduce or close their operations in india are different for different companies however a few reasons for the mncs to leave india or reduce operations in india are as follows first is restructuring to curb losses next point failure to crack price sensitive indian market another point regulatory issues then high tariff barriers red tape complicated land policies another is infrastructure issues it is not all the government's fault if we go through all these reasons for the mncs to reduce or close their operations we must remember that the indian market in general is very price sensitive 
बिकॉज द मेजोरिटी ऑफ पीपल इन इंडिया हैव लो पर कैपिटा इनकम देयर इज डेफिनेटली ए लेक ऑफ प्लानिंग और अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द इंडियन मार्केट्स मंग दी एम एन सीज दैट हैव फेल्ड द कॉम्पिटिशन इन इंडिया इज ऑल्सो वेरी हाई एंड मोस्ट फॉरन कंपनीज स्ट्रगल टू मीट कस्टमर एक्सपेक्टेशंस दम एम एन सीज ऑल्सो लेफ्ट इंडिया बिकॉज ऑफ ए चेंज इन देयर ओन प्रायोरिटीज फॉर इंस्टांस होलसिम डिसाइडेड टू सेल इट्स इंडियन ऑपरेशन टू बिलियनियर गौतम अदानी टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम ट्रेडिशनल सीमेंट बिजनेस टू लो कार्बन सीमेंट एंड अदर इको फ्रेंडली बिल्डिंग मटीरियल्स वाइल सिटी बैंक लेफ्ट इंडिया एज इट डिसाइडेड टू एग्जिट रिटेल बैंकिंग ग्लोबली Every MNC has its own strategy to attract MNCs. India needs to simply needs to simplify regulations further and offer them single window clearance. Single window clearance means that they do not have to go from one office to another to get the clearance. for say land or to set up a particular type of factory or to visit the pollution control office to get pollution clearance in such and to electricity office to get electricity connection so there needs to have single window clearance that is they need to apply only one time and all types of facilities will be provided to them on a single application the there then we come to the questions for practice why some mncs have left india or reduced their operations in india whether government of india is responsible for the exit of some mncs from india next point is how can the government of india attract mncs to invest in india next why indian market is very price sensitive then whether mncs are playing a good role in economic industrial and technological development of india thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course